Hand over that package of money. That'll show them that we mean business. Yeah, well, they were warned to quit their jobs. Come on, let's get back to town. Wherever those hombres are, sure mean business, all right. Last week was Curly, and now it's Jim. I thought that note to clear out was a joke. Come on, get him in the house. around these parts, isn't it? Just about. Well, Martha, I've got a surprise for you. Another old friend dropped in. to do it. Mother and I homesteaded this place, and it's taken years of hard work to build this into now, a paying ranch. take it and... easy, Joel. We'll find out just why anyone would want your ranch so bad they'd kill to get it. I'm going to be around here for a spell, working on a train robbery, and I'll keep my eyes open. Good. Train robbery? You don't think the bandits are anywhere around here, do you? Yes, I do. I'm hot on their trail, and it leads right here. Well, bandits or no bandits, I'm not going to let my coffee get cold. 
Here, yeah. help yourself, boys. <laughs> yeah, why speak of love when there's duty to perform? <laughs> the bandits are too far away. <laughs> Why, Joan, honey, if your mother hadn't told me, I never would have believed it was you. Well, I... I don't understand. You don't remember me? Why, you're not Lightning Ed. Why, of course. Oh. <laughs> Have I changed that much? Well, I should have known, but... Well, it's been a long time. Yes, it has. Well, you were just a little bit of a thing when I left here. <laughs> here for a while, and I liked it so well, I brought Sally out. Good kidding. <laughs> What's the lowdown? Well, I'm not kidding. A girl ought to have a career. And just between us, business is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Our plans were through. You think he's on the way? I don't know, but I'm not going to take any chances. We've got to go through with this deal. I thought we covered up our tracks pretty well. You never can tell. Well, is everything all right? Joe, that's the best food I've had since I left home. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to be in town, but I'm your star boarder while I'm here. Johnson always calls and gets it. Well, what's so strange about that? Oh, nothing. Only this man, Johnson, seems to be kind of friendly with your good friend, Ted Crane. Where did Johnson and Crane hang out? They have a little land office right at the turn of the street. Thanks. Better wait here for me. I won't be gone long. Sure. existing at Red Bluff, I sent for you. I hope you would get back in harness. Gentlemen, I realize the situation is serious, and I understand your position. I'm afraid I must refuse. Under no condition? I'm afraid not, sir. Five years ago, I quit being a railroad detective and gave up chasing outlaws. Bought myself a cow outfit on the other side of the border, and, well, I'm happy there, so I was Tim Hart, you built a fine reputation while with the force, respected by your friends, feared by your enemies. 
I, for one, was sorry to lose you and hated to send for you to come back. But this case at Red Buff is different. It needs you. No use, Inspector. I won't go. When do you want me to leave? Right now. And by the way, we have an agent at Red Bluff on some confidential business. Named Reynolds. Look him up. He probably can give you a line on things. Finish lightning Ed. And he won't stop at anything until he finds out who did it. The wire says he's here to investigate that train robbery. That means we'll have to work fast. But he's dynamite. Put the Lee gang in the pen. And cleaned up the Pinkers country. We haven't got a chance. Well, we can't stop now. We got Carter almost where we want it. Sounds simple. This looks like getting hot. No, I... I don't think I am.
you like? Well, when in doubt, the cowboy is old reliable. Ham and eggs. Elmer, ham and eggs. Oh, don't mind him. That's just a uh, Elmer. Oh, happy. Good evening. Anything you want me to do before I put on a new bag? I'd drift around town and see who's most interested in my arrival. I'll do that. Oh, I remember. Lightning Ed was going to see a fellow by the name of Johnson. Johnson? Yeah, Johnson. But he never got to him. Hunt him up later. Here's another thing you might do. Hunt up the coroner and see if you can get the bullet to kill Lightning Ed. Right. Hey, if I ate, I love. How many coming up? I light on the Mary and now my tears away. If I ate, about this, Peck. I'll show you. If you leave that door open, I'll be able to get a beat on him from here. Get your smoke hole ready. Mind if I saucer this, do you? It's pretty hot. Well, how about that pie? Coming right up.
an automatic? Well, I don't know. I never did see one of them. I don't know what they look like. When I find the gun that fired those bullets, I'll not only have the man that killed Lightning and Ed, but the man that pulled off that robbery and killed the station agent. So that's the job you had to do. Lightning Ed was one of Ed's very best friends. I wish there was something I could do to help. No, you still haven't given me what I came back here to get. The pie? The pie. Well, I'm afraid you're too late. We're closing up now for the night, and, well, anyway, the pie's all gone. Now, if you expect to get paid for a full meal, I want my pie. Well, in that case, you'll have to come home with me. Mom will make all the pie. Well, that's not a bad idea. If you let me drive you home, I'll slip down to the liver bar and get a rake, huh? Well, but that's for mine. Fair enough. Mama, this is Mr. Hart, Tim Hart. How do you do, Mr. Hart? How do you do? It's a pleasure. I heard you were in town and been wanting to talk to you, but... Well, I won't bother you now. Well, I... Any time you say. Wonder if you mind dropping over in the morning. That's fine. Dad, did you put the cat out? Oh, no. No, um, I forgot. Now, you, you know, when you leave the cat in, she gets all my cream. You'll excuse us, won't you, please? Sure. Uh, 
Uh, may I take your hat? Thanks. Wouldn't you like to sit down? Be sense? Do they want to hear us talk business? Mind if I ask you something? You don't have to. I get it. What you went out after? Certainly. You said your meal wouldn't be complete unless you had pie. Did I say that? You certainly did. Well, I guess it must be so. <laughs> you know what I really wanted to ask you was, how does it happen that a pretty girl like you was in the restaurant business? Oh, well, I think a girl ought to have some career, not just sit at home. Hmm. Well, don't you think that more or less depends on who she was sitting at home with? I guess maybe you're right. No. Hello. Have a drink? Yeah. Special. Tim Hart was over at Carter's last night, and uh, he's back there again this morning. Well, so what? He hasn't got anything. No, but it gives us the opportunity we've been wanting. How come? got to come back to Shotgun Pass, and uh, you shouldn't miss him this time. Get that thousand dollars ready for us. It's as good as ours now. You suppose he's figuring on helping Carter out? I don't know. Well, he must be, or he wouldn't be over there. Then the varmints raided the ranch and tried to burn down my barn. Mr. Carter, have you been approached by anyone with an offer to buy the ranch? No. But if things continue the way they've been going, Martha and I will have to sell. Don't say that, Dad. We ain't licked yet. I had hopes of finding out who was behind all this when Lightning Head showed up here, but you heard what happened to him. Yes, I know. I wish I knew who got him. So do I. Well, I aim to find out. I believe I know what's back of all this. And I want you to promise me one thing. That you won't sell out without first consulting me. We certainly will promise. That's the boss talking. Well, I must be getting along. Goodbye, Miss Carter. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Good luck. something awful familiar about that fellow. You know, I was thinking the same thing.
shooting doesn't seem to have improved any. Why don't you quit trying? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Get this. I'm giving you just 24 hours to get out of town. Remember, you've got to make him go for his gun. Uh, I don't know. We'll see that he never draws it. Yeah. Give me a little of the best you've got in the house. See anything with age on it? country don't even want their names known. Oh. You know what these are? Look like slugs from a gun to me. They are. You see, they're not ordinary slugs. They're fired out of one of those newfangled automatics. Did you ever see an automatic? Um, no, but uh, I've heard of them. Just say something. Strutting around town trying to make people think you're tough. Your four flushing don't mean a thing to me. Get this and get it straight. There ain't room enough in this town for the both of us. So I'm giving you your orders right now. Get going and keep going. Understand? Well, are you going, you yellow? All that, Kent. When he sobers up, telling what I said about leaving town still goes. 
Come on, Happy. Oh, I'm happy, go lucky. Here's what I've been looking for, Happy. Right. Take a look at this. Letter sent by the railroad company to Reynolds. Oh. Reynolds, see, he's the one you asked me about. The one that disappeared. That's right. Oh, then you figure that Johnson might have bumped Reynolds off. I'm not figuring anything. We let Johnson supply the answers. What do you mean? We're going to stay right here till he comes. We've got to straighten up this office so he won't know we've worked it over. Give me that. Hello, Johnson. Why, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I just came in for some information. Thought you might know something about a fellow named Reynolds sent down here for the railroad. You know him? Why, uh, yes, of course. He's a friend of mine. Where is he? Way on a trip, uh, surveying for the railroad. How long has he been gone? Oh, about two weeks. When do you expect him back? Why, uh, a day or so. Well, tell him I'll be in to see him. Come on, Happy. Clark doing here? He wants to see Reynolds. And I had to tell him he'd be back in a couple of days. You can't do that. You're telling me? It looks like we'd have to buy that car to play. It's the only way we can settle this. Sometimes that, there's nothing Carter or anyone else can do about it. Johnson's offer for your ranch. But the price. Why, it's ridiculous. Well, we have information that it will only be a matter of a few days before you are driven from your ranch. Yeah, I'd like to get my hands on the thieves. I don't blame you. I know how you feel, but you sign this and all your worries will be over. going on to the ranch, then just took Carter into town. They're in office at Johnson's office right now. I promised him hard. I'd do nothing without consulting him first. <laughs> I tell you, Mr. Carter, Hart left town this morning. Seems he, he had a little trouble and uh, someone called his bluff. 
mighty odd. I don't know. Not if you understood the situation. If I were you, I'd close this deal. before you sign anything. But you told me he's left town. The gentleman was mistaken. Let's go over to Jones' restaurant. Sure. But this sale can wait. We we'll have to wait. You've taken a hand in a game here, and we're playing showdown. You do a lot of talking for a fellow with a weak hand. for someone? Well, now what? We're going right ahead. He's not going to stop us. Hello, Tim. Hello, Dad. Julie? There's a wire here for me. Sure is. I've been waiting for. The reason I stopped you from selling your ranch is I didn't want to see you robbed. Rob? The railroad company sent a man named Reynolds down here to buy your property. Reynolds? Never heard of him. Of course you didn't. Because Reynolds is using the name of Johnson. Johnson made this tie up with Crane merely as a blind. They wanted to buy your property for little or nothing. Then turn it over to the railroad at a big price. To show you how important it is, they even went so far as to rob the railroad in order to get money enough to buy it. You heard of that robbery over at Fargo where the agent was killed? Yes, of course. Same gang. But how did you find out that Johnson was really Reynolds? Well, the dates on some letters I found in Johnson's office didn't tally with his telling me that Reynolds had left town two weeks ago. So I played a hunch, wired in for a description of Reynolds. Here's the answer. It proves that Reynolds is really Johnson. Hold it, Spence! Happy! Go get the doctor. Pick him up, boy. Take him into the restaurant. Easy now. Easy, please. Now, if you just let me handle it the way I want to... Why do everything? We gotta get out of here. You still gotta prove it. You got plenty of proof. What are we gonna do? I'll show you. When you give him this, make yourself scared. Yeah, but how do I know that he'll... Never mind, I'll take my chances on it. Are you healed? Yeah. All right, come on. What's everybody moving so sad about? That's no way to treat a father that's really happy. It's the only... Yeah. Do it. Huh? All right. All right. You want? I am happy, happy so lucky, and I sing, sing in all of the day. Yippee-yay. 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 
I'll ride on the prairie and shout my songs away. With me, aye. Is there anything you can do for him, Doc? Nothing. Johnson's waiting for you over at the saloon. He sent you his card. This is what I've been looking for. The man that sent it killed Lightning Ed. Take care of this for me. Now I know who he reminds me of. Lightning Ed. He always chewed gum when he went into action. You'll be killed, just like Lightning Ed. That's why I'm with you through. Lightning Ed raised me. He's the only father I've ever known. I'll be waiting. Here he comes. done on the bar.
Now, Reynolds, fill your hands. Not used to shooting a man when he's looking at you, eh? Well, I'll make it easier for you. Have you uh, any plans for the future, Sam? I have some very definite plans. That means action. 